Uh, I'm thinking that this is pronounced Nader. It would be if it was in the U.S., but you're from the United Arab Emirates, Mm -hmm. and you are uh, talking about intent behind creation that is found in the Quran, and you are on with Jen and Tracy. Yes. Hi, Jen. Hi, Tracy. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, Yes, I'm going to... I'm going to talk about the creation and uh, if there is God or not, uh, that kind of uh, issue. Uh, first, uh, the uh, argument put forward in the Quran uh, is the following. Uh, there is, uh, he sent uh, uh, the Lord sent messengers uh, to uh, that uh, that made miracles. So this is eyewitnesses. There are two types of evidence. There's logical evidence, reasoning, and there's eyewitnesses. So, uh, for example, the Bible is eyewitness. It's a documentation of eyewitnesses. Actually, it's uh, not. Yeah. It's not. The Bible's yeah. not got any eyewitness stuff in it. Uh, why? Because why? Luke. There is Luke, and there is John, and there the, is yeah. Luke, Luke wasn't. Not, Luke wasn't. They, they weren't eyewitnesses. Luke even says he wasn't an eyewitness. He said that he went and he he researched it and talked to people, and he's reporting back what he heard. So these are yeah, not exactly. eyewitnesses. Well, that's not uh, an eyewitness. Uh, I see. Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, they are what do you call it. Uh, uh, testimonies. Well, they're writing down stories that were verbal. They heard it from somebody. Sure, uh, sure. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's not an yeah, eyewitness. That's what I meant. Yeah, it's, okay. it's uh, transmission uh, by. So they heard it from somebody. Yeah, it's called is, hearsay. Uh, yeah. If that somebody is uh, morally, morally correct, is he morally good, uh, then I can uh, trust his. Uh, but we don't know who they heard it from. Right, we we didn't get to talk to the people that they talked to, and some of them re- based it on other books. Um, and these are just, and the stories were written down, you know, decades and and you know potentially like a century later. So these are stories and stories and verbal stories that were finally written down in in uh, written form by pseudonymous authors, and we actually anonymous. Don't. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess yeah, and pseudonymous. I don't know. The, are we in is this Trump pseudonymous? Yeah, pseudonymous. <laughs> but anyway, the, the, we don't know actually who these people were right. that wrote these stories. I mean, even the names were right. The names traditions were traditions from the church. They're right. Not the names were real added later. Yeah, uh, we don't know if these people were morally upright or honest, or if they were like flagrant liars and grifters. So let's stick with the Quran here because the Bible, it's pretty much, I mean, even most Muslims I know pretty much know that there's a lot of problems with the Bible. Yeah, but the Quran says uh, that, uh, the Quran says that he came to confirm what Luke, Matthew, and uh, what Luke, Matthew, John, and Mark uh, has said the, the, there's a consensus among these four disciples. There's really, the yeah, stories yeah, in the Bible, there's no consensus. <laughs> it's really bad. I mean, they they have a lot of disputes among them about what happened. Like who was there and who saw what. And um, yeah, it, they're not the same. In fact, there's parts of it that were added later, um, you know, that about the life of Jesus and even about the, the resurrection in I think it's the end of I think it's the end of Mark I'd have to look it up right. but I mean, one the, of them they changed the resurrection story you know yeah, right. yeah there's I mean, disagreements about Jesus birth you know his the bible's really not a good everything. source <laughs> yeah but let uh, let's see what they have uh, agreed upon they have the the four different four, uh, different sources confirm that uh, Jesus came with miracles well, no, they just report what other people said. That's not the same exactly. as confirming yeah, I mean, that there wait, were miracles. Wait, before we go on, there's a we talked about this, uh, not me and you, but I've talked about this in, in the past, like on a recent show, where I basically said I'm happy to take the consensus of historians. And I know that some people don't like that. There are atheists who really don't want me to, to say that. But I'm willing to take the consensus of historians, that there was, you know, it seems likely that a guy named Jesus lived in some fashion, that um, the crucifixion... Uh, was probably, you know, how he died. And again, I know there's people that take issue. Go take issue with historians. Change their minds, and then I will change, you know, then I'll stop using this. 
But the fact is, historians don't really accept that there were miracles. I mean, that, we don't, we don't, if you go, it's why spectral evidence is not allowed in courts here. I can't go into court and say, I saw Jen turn into a cat. And even if there's three people and we all get up and say that Jen turned into a cat, people are going to be like, no, that's ridiculous. Even if there's eyewitness testimony, there's a certain level where we say that's just ridiculous. Okay, so uh, I want to just wanted to say that the Quran says that the Bible is evidence. Yes, there were some forgeries, but the Quran says uh, let, uh, says to us that concentrate on what Luke, uh, Matthew, Mark, and uh, agreed that there is that there was Jesus. He came with miracles, um, uh, and there were forgeries. Yes, the Quran says this, but this is. Uh, documented. Uh, anyways, I want to talk about uh, the uh, the second thing. I want to talk about the creation, the logical, uh, the argument put forward in the Quran that there is uh, that there is intent behind creation, and that there is God. Uh, okay, I just. Uh, Is this what you believe, or is this what you're looking up? No, actually, the I put uh, the uh, I want to say the, uh, for example, the the Quran has many verses on uh, on the reasoning, the argument behind the creation. For example, it says uh, the meaning in the Quran: the first man on earth. Uh, he said the Quran says basically that we have to make a relationship and reflect how nature combines the elements of survival. I would say that's a good idea, the nature combined elements, yeah. Yeah, so for example, uh, the meaning, in the, I'm gonna say uh, not the exact wordings in the Quran, but uh, the interpretation or the meaning. Sure. For example, uh, the first man on earth found himself in the earth with no water to drink. Mother nature told him, don't worry, I will bring the sun close enough to make the sea water nearly evaporate. Okay, wait, people came out, came from water. No, actually, I want to present the whole story first, maybe. Um, right, but we already have a problem you, because yeah. evolution is thought to have begun in water and proceeded outward from there, right, like onto land. I, I mean, I could be wrong, but that's my understanding of that it was probably. Yeah, I, that's, I, why, I, that's why finding liquid water on planets is such a big deal. Well, and, and in any case, we know that uh, life on Earth would not survive without water. So, yeah. So, so whether we came there was from water, water before so. there was people is, I guess, what I'm saying. Right. There had to be, um, and we know from geology that water's been around longer than people. People. Yeah, uh, but if you wait for me, just until I finish this uh, paragraph, because uh, it will, it will like. Um, tell you uh, why, uh, how the elements are combining, the elements of survival okay. are combining. I'm not so we're sure going to get a chemistry I'm lesson. I'm not sure I'm trusting this book. Um, it's going to no, be chemistry. It's, it's going to be cool. <laughs> no. uh, so, uh, so again, the first man on earth found himself in the earth with no water to drink. Mother nature told him, don't worry, I will bring the sun close enough to make the seawater nearly evaporate. Then the condensation process starts in order to remove the salt for you and bring it back water that quenches your thirst. This is as per the Quran. Not only that, but after the, that, the water has fallen, it was preserved in the form, in the form of lakes and rivers and ponds and underground water. He found the fruit sweet and digestive. Nature included sugar in the process because it knew that the human body can taste that man also found varieties, fruits, vegetables, grains. Out of hundreds of wild species, there were livestock, male and female, to promote animal farming. Allah said in the Quran, chapter 16, and indeed for you, in grazing livestock is a lesson. We give you drink from what is in their bellies between excretion and blood, pure milk. This man also recalled when he was a baby, he didn't have teeth to eat solid food. 
Nature said, I'm going to give your mommy two bottles of salt milk. milk. <laughs> okay, I have it to stop. Wait, 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 wait. I've got to ask. Wait, wait, wait. Where is this yeah. going, please? Because I let this go on for like a minute. I watched the clock and I let this go for a minute. And it's like we're basically getting the Genesis story. And, oh, how how exactly long? Exactly two minutes. Exactly two minutes. Okay. It doesn't empty until you, the baby, say so. And guess what? I will place pierced soft nipples on the tip of the two bottles because nature knew the baby is only able to suck and doesn't have teeth. That will hurt the nipples. Nature was smart. The breast was dual functional. It manufactured the breast to look attractive to the male. This man recalled again when he was in his mom's womb, arrangements again were there to supply him with food and drink. So when you wonder, as Allah said, the possibilities are narrowing down to zero if somebody had the intent to combine the elements of survival. So my question now is, again, the Quran says, the mountains to stabilize the earth crust, the moon every 30 days turns full moon to make account of time. How did they know so, that? So How the did they know that the moon gets full every 30 days? Yeah. Like who told them that? No, this is, uh, you can see it. But yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes, because you can see it. I mean, what you're doing is no, describing I, things that people have observed, and you're saying that according exactly. to the Quran, nature has done this. And I tend to agree with that. I just don't agree that it needs Allah to tell us this. I, I think that this is something that we can observe. No, Allah is... is, you know, is babies uh, suck on nipples. Is, it's it's a pretty obvious And they don't thing. have teeth, usually. Yeah, they don't have teeth, and the, the moon gets full every 30 days, and none of this is is anything but what I would expect ancient people to write as observations on nature. Yes. With yes, some so incorrect explanations thrown in because I would also yes. expect they wouldn't understand evolution and, and uh, long-term geology theories. Yeah, I would also expect people yeah. who were unaware of our hunter-gatherer past to assume that livestock, livestock would be a normal and thing. grains yeah. were already in existence. Yeah, I, I was I was trying to be a little flexible with that and thinking maybe livestock was like a term for animals or something. You know what I mean? Because we're yeah. dealing with translation. I don't know. I was being generous, but uh, yeah, livestock is not really something that is a natural thing, and so neither did, is uh, based farming. On the, based on this argument, you don't see that there are that the elements of survival are combining. That's not an but, argument, yeah. and I wouldn't say that the elements, because the problem with the story, this is the problem as I see it with the story you're telling, is that people are here and then everything is supplied for people to survive. But what really happened, according to everything that we can find, is that all the stuff was already here, and then things that could survive in the environment gave were arose and survived. And then as the environment changed, some of those things couldn't survive and they died. Other things were able to survive and they evolved. And so what happened is we conformed to a, an environment because we were able to survive in it, not it was supplied to us as a survival environment to, to support people. That's the only issue I really have with the, with the little myth. Okay. So uh, this, the argument doesn't uh, uh, prove that there is intent behind uh, Not creation. even close. It's sometimes, I don't know, it, you might want to think about this, but sometimes it's compared to drawing, uh, what is it, the, the bullseye around the arrow. Yes, yeah, so it's you like shoot, a sharpshooter you shoot fallacy. the arrow yeah. and then it hits the tree and then you go and draw a bullseye around it and say, hey, it's right in the bullseye. So what's happening is everything that we're aware of indicates that there was evolution that resulted in what we've got today. And everything that's still around today is obviously the stuff that was able to survive based on what was there. It's, it's kind of incorrect to think of it in terms of we were, we were there as human beings and then the universe supplied everything we need. And when you look at the universe, in fact, you can kind of see that there's a whole lot of stuff in the universe that isn't required for human survival. So it doesn't seem like the universe is really here for people to survive, right? Because look at all the stuff that's out in the universe that if it, you know, supernovas, for example, stars blow up and we still survive. So that star wasn't really necessary for our survival or else we would have died when it exploded. And so we have a universe that's really not it doesn't seem to be made to make people survive. It seems like we we have grown up in this universe. In fact, there's a really good um, old Richard Dawkins series called Growing Up in the Universe where he talks about how 
how evolution works and how you come to um, match your environment because you are the thing that survived in that environment. We probably aren't going to end up agreeing on this, and you're welcome to go to our blog at freethoughtblogs forward slash AXP and push, publish more about this. If you're a regular contributor to the blog, then your post will go straight up. If you haven't contributed yet, you'll have to get the first post moderated, so you post your, you post your ideas and then give it a few days, and usually it'll get through in a couple days, and then you can start posting, and it'll go through automatically. Um, I would suggest you probably take this to the blog if you want to, but uh, I think I understand what yeah. you're describing, and I'm thinking that you probably understand my response to it. And okay. do you feel like you had an opportunity to give your position? Yes, yes, definitely. I had okay. the opportunity. Okay. Uh, and thank you very much for your program and time. Okay, well, thank you very thank much you. for your call. Yeah. All right. Okay, thank Bye-bye. you. All right. So that argument uh, reminds me of a Douglas Adams quote right, the about the puddle. Yeah. Yeah, there's so, like, you can go ahead. Yeah, so uh, the quote is, this is an interesting world I find myself in, an interesting hole I find myself in. Well, before you go on, this is a, uh, the premise of this is that you are a puddle. Right, that is you're suddenly the puddle. become conscious. Yeah. Um, in fact, it fits me staggeringly well. It must have been made to have me in it. This is a powerful idea that as the sun rises in the sky and the air heats uh, heats up as gradually the puddle gets smaller and smaller, frantically hanging on to the notion that everything's going to be all right because this world was meant to have him in it. It was built to have him in it. So the moment he disappears catches him rather by surprise. I think this is something we need to be on the watch out for. So. Yeah. No, I think that's exactly what that was meant to represent was the idea of confusing the environment, um, you know, being made for yeah. you simply because you matched you know, or you, you've, you've come to be compatible with it. Right. 